Hi, my name is Christina Richardson and I'm a junior here at Christopher Newport University. I am a neuroscience major here and as such, I'm also on the pre-medical track um, to be able to hopefully go into medical school. Now, for the longest time, I've always wanted to be a neurologist or something in that vein. This past summer, I was able to engage myself in a medical study abroad program in Mombasa, Kenya, which changed my perspective. Coast General Teaching and Referral Hospital is the hospital that we shadowed at and it is the second largest public hospital in Kenya. The hospital was half inside and half outside and it was absolutely gorgeous even though it was obviously warm. Coast General was opened in the 1950s originally only for the British. Over time it became a hospital for the public, however while at the hospital we learned about the discrepancy between private and public hospitals. While private hospitals have a very close resemblance to our hospitals in America, they are only a resource to the wealthy. While the private hospitals receive state-of-the-art resources, public hospitals are left to fend for themselves, caring for the lower majority of the population with outdated instruments and methods. Regardless of this though, the doctors still welcomed us with open arms. My first two weeks, I shadowed in the surgical department, then the ICU, then the maternity ward, even doing an overnight shift there. During this experience, I fully solidified my decision to become a doctor, even switching my path from neurology to obstetrics and gynecology. I was able to get arms length away from a variety of surgeries, from heart surgeries to C-sections and everything in between. Overall, it was the best experience of my life. So yeah, being in the hospital, definitely an intense feeling. Um, it was very amazing to be able to get all the different experiences that I was able to. And I definitely remember seeing my first craniotomy, my first C-section, and everything in between. But even though we were in the hospital, we still made a lot of time to have fun. A common misconception is that African countries are poor and don't have similar resources to America, but in Mombasa I was able to do a lot of the same things that you can do in America. The mall was humongous and had many shops including a combination Cold Stone Domino's Pizza. Yeah. There were also many amenities to cater to different cultures including this bubble shop where the worker had to help me insert the straw. The Barbie movie had also dropped while we were there so when we went to the theater there were so many people wearing pink. Who knew Kenyans love Barbie? In Mombasa, there were so many beautiful restaurants, lounges, and even views since the city is surrounded by water. Surrounded by water also means beautiful beaches with clear water from the Indian Ocean and white sands. Since our summertime is Kenya's wintertime, the weather was perfect and every day was in the mid-70s to low 80s. I also had the opportunity to take a beach safari to Watamu, which is a remote village about two hours west of Mombasa. There, I had the opportunity to snorkel, which I learned that I was definitely not good at. I also had the opportunity to visit Marafa's Hell's Kitchen, which is Kenya's Grand Canyon, and even meet some of the local monkeys. While my primary focus was medical volunteering, I made the most of my time there. I was with some of the best people I could have spent my time with, even still being in contact with a good majority of my friends from the program. And I can truly say that we made enough memories to last ourselves a lifetime. Mombasa was a lot different than what I expected it to be. I expected it to be an experience that was just so vastly different from America, but turns out there was a lot more similarities there. Even though we were in the community a lot to have a lot of fun, we also served the community by doing a whole lot of community outreach. Mombasa is a very lively community with impressionable children and as such, every Wednesday we would travel to a school in the area and teach the younger children about basic hygiene skills and the older girls about feminine hygiene. Sadly enough, many of the skills we would teach the children about were new information to them, but the hopes are that they apply what we taught to their daily lives. Teaching the older girls about feminine hygiene and seeing the lack of knowledge is also what inspired me to switch my career path from neurology to obstetrics and gynecology. <laughs> The kids absolutely loved it when we would visit. They would beg us to take pictures together and even play with us after we would finish our teaching sessions. Every Saturday morning, we would commute to a more remote location outside of Mombasa and set up shop with doctors that the people could consult and free drugs that the community could pick up. Many people who live in rural locations do not have the means to travel all the way to hospitals for non-urgent treatment, so this was a way for us to help those in the community. 
So as you can see, overall my experience in Mombasa, Kenya was definitely a life-changing experience, especially since this was my first time studying abroad or leaving the country. Throughout this entire experience, I learned a lot about what it meant to truly be a global citizen, as well as learning just about how different people live. Uh, different people have different experiences with their lives, um, and that goes even into the medical field. Being able to see what different doctors do um, and the different, um, the different ways that they go about doing their own own procedures and things was definitely very interesting. And getting arms length away from surgeries was definitely something that I wouldn't have been able to experience in America. I feel like this trip definitely changed my trajectory of just the place that I wanted to be at when it comes to my time here at CNU. I decided to change my career path from going into neurology to going into obstetrics and gynecology. And I'm so thankful because if not for this trip to Mombasa, Kenya, I definitely would not have had that experience to be able to change my mind about my career path. And I wouldn't have been able to go to Mombasa, Kenya in the first place if it wasn't for CNU study abroad. So thank you so much for watching.